Today we have something very, very special. We're gonna start for exactly 11 minutes, maybe yes. 10 minutes now, to quickly go through what our current skincare routine is. I think like everyone probably is interested when we're not trying a bunch of products, what are our go-tos that we rely on and yes. that we naturally fall back on. And then the second thing. At 11-11. 11, 11, 11, 11. Exactly in 11 minutes, maybe 10 now, we're gonna reveal the launch that we've been working on like under the radar for about a year now. You know, like things have been postponed and all that, but we're finally here and really excited. So let's just and wait, what better timing? Date and time. I Guys, know. 11, 11, we can share more about, well, we'll, we'll definitely share more about why we came out with this launch, but I think the, the numerology. Yeah. Not that we're like super into it, but like it's very nice. <laughs> it's very cool. And yeah. it's Singles Day. It is. Happy Singles Day Yay. for all the singles and ready to mingle. I don't know. But anyway, let's just start with our skincare because yeah. we have nine minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So give me a little roundup. You go first. Okay. So my skin's been really inflamed. I have a face rash. And so everything I've needed is soothing, calming, and to restore my skin barrier. So cleanser, I'm not going to really mention, but these are the things that have literally saved my life. It was scaly. It was red. It was itchy. First is the Tower 28 SOS um, Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So you guys have heard me talk about this. The key ingredient is hypochlorous acid. And I actually found a dupe from a recommendation from you guys when I first mentioned it, it was on Amazon. Yeah. It's double the size that you can get on and it's half the price. So I'm gonna share about this in a, another video, yes. but this one is truly amazing. And yeah, you just spray it on. The spray is like intense, so I wouldn't say directly on yeah. the face because it's like it's like a hose at your face, not more of like fine mist. Fog. Yeah, so I've been really enjoying this, highly recommend. And if at any point you guys have any questions, similar with all of our lives, drop them in the, in the comment section. Yes. I'm looking at them. I'm not looking on my phone and being disrespectful. <laughs> I'm trying to respond to you guys. Yes. Okay. Um, should I just go through everything? Yeah. Okay. And then I have this brand called CLE. This is their serum. It's their Ceramide Radiant Skin. And basically the serum is just ceramides, 4% ceramide concentration. Because essentially when your skin is irritated, you just want like very simple, like peel it back to basics, right? CLE, I've loved their vitamin C elixir for a really long time, talked about it like four years ago. It's like in this really pretty sunset color and recently have tried their whole skincare range and it's amazing. So it's silky. Oh my God, it feels almost like, I don't know if you've tried it yet, but it's so silky and smooth. Whoa. It just glides all over serum. the face. This is a serum. Yeah, but it's almost like so nourishing and moisturizing and everything is like really clean, just perfect for what I need. And like, you know, giving that hydration and nourishment. 4% ceramides. Amazing. So if you guys like CeraVe, but you want something a little bit more like aesthetic, but still does the job, highly recommend. And in the same range, their whole range is so calming. It's the multi cream and it's Palo Santo infused, which I think is really interesting. And this reminds me of the Pure Am cream, but just a little bit more balmy. So it's not as glowy as the Pure Am because it's more like shea buttery. But when your skin, once again, is compromised, you want it to just trap it all in. And for oily girls, you might not want a moisturizer that's too shiny and, you know, shiny all that. and shimmery and splendid. Yeah, this is shiny and shimmery. But truly, this is like, it's like satin matte finish almost mm. and it works beautifully together oh my god these have been like a saving grace and then at night i've been using the sol wesu because we went to their event and they had a bunch of masks mm -hmm. we had it in our bathroom all oh my four goodness. of them lined up i didn't know they had this many masks right they have a clay mask uh overnight mask it's all the masks yes this one is the revitalizing mask and it blew me away because it was like so smooth. So think of the ginseng cream that we use, and that one might be really thick. This is like a, a toned down by oh. half version, but like smooth as anything. Kind of like this, but in a moisturizer form. And as soon as I put it on, all the scaly parts immediately like went away. 
and then afterwards because my skin has been really irritated that's the time when you actually want to use one of these physical sunscreens not the chemical filters because chemical filters really can irritate um, sensitized skin so this is a new one that we have on the shop it's dr g you guys if you're into korean skincare you guys know this has been the like winning sunscreen for about three consecutive years and it's the only physical sunscreen that I've used that blends so well that doesn't leave a chalky finish. So oh, it's mineral? like so physical it's, usually doesn't have it. Um, what's the one that's like the white cut? The mineral. Oh mineral. mineral. Okay, yes. sorry. So the mineral ones normally leave you a little bit chalky yeah. because of the zinc oxide. This on a scale of like zero to ten gives you like it has that white cast, but it blends so beautifully that it leaves you with maybe just like a 3 out of 10 finish wow. of whiteness. It's so wow, good, wow, guys. Wow, wow. So that okay. is me. Real quick, Blueberry says, I normally wake up at 11 a.m., but I set an alarm and actually woke up, and it's 8 a.m. here. This channel is even better than when half asleep. Ah, ah, Thank you for waking up for us. My heart. <laughs> and Rose Love asks, is it good under makeup, the sunscreen? Oh, it's perfect under makeup. So I have it on now. You can see it's like, I've been sweating, so like it's glowy, but it just sets the best face. Like I am actually in love with this entire routine. I didn't think I've been in love with the whole set for a really long time. Only because you know when skincare works, mm -hmm. you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm in love again. Are we back in focus? Yes, I think we're back in focus. Okay. I'm gonna breeze through my routine in under okay. three minutes because you guys already know I love these products. I wash my face. This is the routine I used this morning. Yeah. So I use Crave Beauty's Matcha Hem Hydrating Cleanser. You guys know this is my favorite jelly bouncy hydrating cleanser that I don't know we've talked we've been talking about for literal ages. Mm -hmm. And then I've also been talking about the Suasu First Care Activating Serum for ages as well. Mm -hmm. I just love the smell of it it's like herbaceous like it reminds me of like a traditional Chinese medicine like apothecary and like it smells so good because they do have that like jum activated that's like their proprietary like blend of six different herbs and then after using that I am using the Caudalie grape spray this is like the perfect I think like toner essence step because it's literally just grape water and if you guys know oh, Caudalie, yeah. their whole literally their whole line of products is using different parts of the grape for your skin so like different parts of it can brighten some of them has like natural salicylic acid and it's just glorious and very very hydrating nourishing and jam-packed with antioxidants highly recommend this and this is i believe only like 18 so yeah and honestly, like when we did our Sephora skincare recommendations, you were like, is this sponsored by Quarterly? And we're like, no, 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 no. We've just been in love with testing a love bunch them. of their products yeah. and it really is amazing for sensitive skin. Yeah. And then the serum that I love for hyperpigmentation, not focusing, is the Medicube Deep Vita C Ample. This is 13.5%. I find that of all the vitamin Cs, this is the only one that has really, really, really helped with my sun i mean i don't know if you can see but like my freckles like this this is oh god it's just focus up on your close face. and personal but yeah there's one here and like there's sunspots here that just aren't going away anymore and then this next one is the most exciting and new product that i actually want you to try this is dior beauty's bomb seeker repair Ooh, that sounds uh, good. the name is fancy and it is not yeah there we go so this to me is like a fancier version of, let's say like a Lou Roche Posay, um, or even like the, you guys know I love the Barrier, the Puram Barrier. I was gonna say, it's like exactly like yeah. Puram. So it is very balmy in texture, and then it just blends into the skin. I love how like a lot of traditional legacy beauty companies are tapping into KBD ingredients. Yeah. I mean, Kate, like a lot of these products were produced in Korea um, or like manufactured, so it makes sense, but I really do like this. It's like the Lancome, it's like they have that whole the line. Clinique. No, you remember Clinique even had a Centella. Clinique had it, um, but remember yeah, that one mask, minute. the Revitalize line? Oh. That was also mm -hmm. really good. Don't know if you guys have tried yes. that one. And then you guys know sunscreen, unseen, perfect as like the last step in your routine, perfect as a primer for your makeup, perfect for literally anything. 
if you don't mind the texture. I actually love the texture. Yay! Okay, so we love me a fish Yay! Fish. You finished on time too. Oh my goodness, we, we have like so five well. seconds. Okay, so Elizabeth said I need to check out the sunscreen. I'm glad y'all list y'all listing them after. Yes, Elizabeth, I remember you have really dry, sensitive skin. I think you will love that sunscreen. Um, let's see. Is it really an early session? No tea. Whoa, Dior it. makes skincare. Yeah, they've a lot of these. Uh, uh, legacy fashion companies, fashion houses, all have their own skincare beauty. Lines. They just don't like promote it as much as yeah. their other stuff. I feel like this has been the longest minute, and it's officially 11 11 Singles Day! Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we're going to reveal Heart Our Little Line. As of this moment, our new collection with Ana Luisa is now live with our with six pieces. Six pieces. So when I say little line, I really don't mean little because this is our biggest collection ever. So we've done maybe like three different collaborations with them now. It's been a long partnership, guys, like four, four years since our first one, which was the flower with the little square in between. And so all our pieces really do tie contemporary with traditional. That's our whole... What happened? Nothing happened. I think you're fine. Just the switch back to yeah, oh. the audio was there. Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear now? Okay, so let's go through the meaning of the collection. You'll see that um, Deb can start putting up little pictures of it, but you'll see that they're like little bing bing stars. I don't know if it's for, ah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So they're all celestial inspired. And it was because when we were coming up with like um, inspiration. It, it started. New collection. Yeah, it started with like, oh, something in the cloud, something with stars, and the meaning behind it is. You want to go on? Well, it's first. Okay, you can. The meaning you can finish your sentence first. Okay, so the meaning behind it really is like the concept of we. You know, when you look up, you're like, oh my god, there's such vastness. There's so many unknowns, and you can feel a little bit lost. It's like how you love the ocean. But it's a humbling experience because when you look up, it's like, wow, a twinkling star, so small. But if you reverted that uh, perception and you would nip up there, it's like a huge, it's big, a gigantic burning thing. ball of flame. It's huge, right? So this idea of like perspective, um, we can look at things and see it as small. We can look at things and see it as like really large, but that's also us. Yeah, and it's just also... We wanted this collection to serve as a reminder that no matter where you are in life, no matter how you're feeling, no matter what you're going through, that you're not lost. Just like these small but mighty stars in the sky, as Phil was just saying, they look small, but they're in fact huge, yeah. right? Just like ourselves. I think sometimes when we think of ourselves, we can be like, oh, you know, we're just, you know, we're just like a, one little thing in this like huge planet. Yeah. But you can also reverse that, like you can be the planet. Yeah. You can be the star. <laughs> you are your main character. Yes. But also it's humbling yeah. to know that you are part of this like bigger thing, right? So let's first start with... And it's just a reminder to, yeah, like really remember who you are. Yeah. Very similar to our first collection, if you guys remember. The, it, it looked like a flower yeah. with a cutout, like a square cutout in the middle. Um, so that was like the first collection of like remember who, who you are. And then this one is that and remember your purpose yeah your remember north star your north star yeah so i'm gonna put this on for you guys but i love how this necklace so right now we have about three different necklaces Aww. with the Ana luisa line so all of them are really like layerable that's the whole purpose of it and i want to show you what it looks like with our previous um like flower necklace so I don't know I'm just gonna like focus on myself yes so this is the flower necklace that we have before and this one can just dangle lower so I just happened to put it in the middle this is like the middle link but it hangs down a little bit longer as well <laughs> <laughs> or you can have it as a choker so they're all designed to be worn 
together. You can layer There's another them. another way to layer. Let so get out. this is Anna Luisa's um, like little diamond necklace. This is from my mother, and then this is just very beautiful. Yes. So this necklace, I think, is like so just beautiful. It's subtle and just wearable, which is all the pieces that we want. I actually wore it to my wedding. Like if you look at my wedding pictures, I only wore this little dainty necklace with like the off the shoulder kind of dress. And it just is muted, it's understated, but it a actually a lot of people pick up on it. Yeah. Right? It's like, yeah. it looks small, but it's mighty. <laughs> and our friends actually thought these were like- High end. High end, over $10,000 necklaces. Yeah. But guys, that they're not, and they're also twenty five percent off right now on Anna Luisa. Oh yeah, so we they have should, a sale going on. We yeah, should yeah. actually talk about Anna Luisa. So they are carbon neutral. They're very like environmentally conscious. They're also very affordable while giving you a bunch of different designs so that you can stack, you can layer very very easily with other pieces that you have. Yeah. Um, their pieces are basically all I wear. Yeah. I think all you wear too. Oh my gosh, like majority of it. And then before we move on, yes. reading some comments. Okay. Um, we have Chibichish. I'm so I'm so sorry. Someone Chibicheska. They're so pretty. And then Crystal Eye says, Spell your hair looks so beautiful. Oh. She also says such incredible deep meaning. And then Blueberry again with such a great comment, Bell and Girl making things really deep again. I'm here uh, for it. We're here for it that you guys are here for it. Yeah. Um, Thank you. This is, this is just one of the six pieces. Yes. Please like hang hang on tight. Hang in there. Um, but also I want to mention the chain. So let's go in a little bit. It's got these little bubbles. Once again, like super understated. I love how you can see my necklines. <laughs> but anyway, like there's little chains and I just think it like brings together this whole idea of like stars, celestial, we're in, you know, in the galaxy type of thing. And we are one with the universe. Um, hey. So that's like a really nice detail of the necklace. Yeah. Moving on to... Ring? Ring. 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 Put, a, put a ring on it, Beyonce. <laughs> okay. Deb, your finger, yay! yay! Deb is off camera, but we all have our rings. Oh my gosh, I also want to say that each of the names of these pieces um, are, wait, you have to come back. Is are, it focused? Each of these pieces are named after one of our team members. So there's Deb, there's Amber, there's Lucy, um, there's Claire. Anyway, so all of the pieces are one of our teams. Um, and, you know, like we are just little stars yeah. shining brightly, <laughs> hopefully in the dark night sky. <laughs> um, but yes, this is, I believe, Amber. Amber ring. Is this your ring, Amber? It is the Amber ring. Yes, she's yes. right here. <laughs> so what you'll see, and I don't know, Deb will pull up the picture, you'll see that there are three different um, stars on it. So this one, actually, out of all the pieces, took the most iteration to get to where it was. At first, we, um, we had the three, and they were like different sizes. We also had little... Um, we had a little like circle in between each of the stars and then we realized okay this might be a little overwhelming for the the size of the ring um and then we also wanted it to be like a dome shape because it's almost like i was like okay can you create it like the headbands that we oh, wear yeah. remember yeah. um because it's kind of like got that what do you call it like a crowning glory on your finger type yes. of thing i don't know what you call it. it's like Regal. Regal. <laughs> I, I like, got you. What is it? I, we it's can like read each other's minds now. <laughs> I am the queen. Yes. Yeah. But it's got that kind of classic it's look. Like, kiss my ring. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Charles. Oh, but I also want to show you if you have like a really dainty ring, you can also just stack it on top. Like there's really no wow. um, right or wrong with how you layer it. So I think it's really cool to also mix metals. I love mixing metals. 
Um, but yeah, this is the gold plated version. And you'll find that we also filled out the dome a little bit. The first iteration was more hollow. Yeah. So it was just like the, the, uh, the, cra the what do you call it? The casing yeah. of it. It was a bit lighter and we're like, we want this to kind of feel a bit weighted. Yeah. Because it's regal. It and is. And it is the queen. Yes. And we wanted to make you it are the queen. feel expensive. <laughs> yes. You <laughs> are the queen. <laughs> what is it? I, I'm thinking of Gollum. You are the queen. I'm your precious. I'm your precious. Especially with your phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, okay, but this is one of, yeah, favorite pieces. It's like, a, it's such a good, like, you can wear it on its own as a statement piece, which I do most of the time. You can, like, stack it with a bunch of other rings. Yeah. This really is, like, super versatile, and I love that it's different from probably most of what you can find on the market these days, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it has the stars, they have the stars, it has yes. a very very amazing meaning whenever you look at it when you receive it, it's like ah my north star is this so yeah. i shouldn't let the things that i'm currently worrying about my current stressors this anxiety like just sit with it make peace with it let it go because you know why you're doing what you're doing and you trust that there's a greater plan for you yes. and i think like for as much as this serves as you know that reminder for us because we've actually been wearing this collection for months yeah and some of you guys have actually picked on you're like oh my god where's your necklace from or where's your bracelet from it's so cute so it has served as a reminder for me and i'm sure for fell individually whenever we see these pieces and we hope it does the same for you yes one other thing i want to mention is that it's very like it crosses style so whether you're more like tomboyish mm -hmm. or whether you're more girly you can dress it up and down yeah it's Day like a pair of jeans. Correct. <laughs> um, yes, that's a great you analogy. You should go in on the earrings. Okay, guys. Earring <laughs> time! Three. My ears aren't here, so take it so away, So, unfortunately, friend. you're stuck with me for the next, <laughs> like, however long. But we have three different earrings, guys. And this is not the first set of earrings that we've done. We have some, like, huggies, hoops with the flowers. But this one is all in this Star Celestial collection. Hold on, it's not like focusing. It wants to focus on Robo's face. Okay, here we go. So you'll see that, <laughs> no, you're fine. You can come back. I we have you. a pair of layering studs, which is just the flower, uh, the stars. And then I really want to show you in a bit, I'm going to put on these threaders, but they're essentially like, they just loop through your your ear holes and if you have double ear holes then it can loop through multiple ear holes very cool i'll show you that and then we have more of like a classic huggy um which looks like this all in gold and it just dangles ever so beautifully on the huggy so right now oh my gosh i'm like very self-conscious about my ear because i haven't it's like okay. Uh, okay so this is the Oh, it's actually focusing quite well. Great. Yeah. So this is the, um, what do you call it? The stud? Yeah. Normally I'll have the stud in the second ear hole. And then let me show you what it looks like when you put the huggy on. It's very cute. And then let me just pull up the names for these really quick so you guys know what we're talking about. So the studs are called Debbie and Debbie's actually right here helping us with the live. She showed her finger with the ring just now. And yes. then you're putting in the Huggies, which is called Angela. Angela. Oh my god, the stack is so cute. They just work so well together. Wow. Do you see this? Wow. Get out of my... Stop focusing on my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so are they the same size? Uh, the Angela's a little bigger than the stuck. The stud, yeah. So the stud is really like just a little twinkle on your ear. And honestly, it just like works with everything. Can you turn your ear? The other, other one? Oh. So, oh, I think the, yeah, the, the hoop one is about the same size as the bracelet that we'll get to at the end. Oh yes, we also and have then, a bracelet. So the sizing is, the necklace is the biggest. Yeah. And then it should be the hoop. And then I think the threader is about the same size as the... As the yeah. thingy? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So then this is the threader. So what it is is a long piece of 
dangly, very dainty metal of the earring. And the threader's called the Darlene. Darlene. Darlene it can was be out yours in for under $42. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me show you how it works. So it comes with a little um, metal threader. And what you do, is it like focused? Is you thread it through like this. And Milk Tea asks, how long did it take y'all to come up with all of these concepts? I think the, the initial concept took a little bit of time. Yes, it always but does. It, but it's like with the initial concept, it helps us create the whole collection. Yes. So I think like the concept's the hardest part, but it's also what comes first and then the collection. Yes, and the Animal Weasel team is really great with just helping facilitate that whole process. You know, like we'll have ideas, we bounce ideas back and forth, and they help us kind of like guidelines. It's like, this is working really well. Maybe we can, um, you know, simplify this just to make like for example the rings like maybe we can simplify it because it looks a bit busy and just to make the stars really shine and we're like that makes sense make the stars shine so this is the threader guys like look how pretty this is you can have it like shorter like this if you want it to dangle at the back or you can pull it like even steven and have it just there this is also another Ana Luisa like huggy just if you guys are wondering I forgot the name um, or I like it kind of like staggered like this and it's just so dainty do you feel like it gives you a very like you know kind of put together yeah it's like a red lipstick yeah it's like blush you're like the queen it ties me. <laughs> the queen if I saw a queen in threaders I'd be like you're so hip I will go under your monarchy. <laughs> anyway. I will be your Charles. Yeah. I'll, I'll be your, be your little, Alfred. No, I'll be your um, Corgi. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that's the threader, guys. So we have three different types. We have these studs, which honestly, I feel like you should wear just with everything. I never take it off. And then the thread is just for like days that you want to feel a bit, I don't know, put together, but also really girly and very like very pretty mm -hmm. and then the huggies with the studs are just like an everyday look mm -hmm. yeah i think this is like a beautiful like even can you feel oh my god this is so weird <laughs> oh that's so weird my ears are not pierced i don't feel anything like, like you can even put it all the way well maybe not all the way in oh like, and i want to mention in the picture deb if you want to put up the threader you'll see that i actually looped it through two holes so it started from the front and then it weaved through. Started and then from the back, now it's in the front. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, and so if you have two holes, you can also do that too. There's like Whoa. a bunch of fun and funky things that you can do with yeah. threaders. Very cool. <laughs> the concept really is cool. Will it not fall out if like... I mean, if you're like... Can you, not, can you do extreme activities with threaders? Probably not, right? It's also dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Oh my, that if that you're like so knocking your head back and forth like Willow Smith, it will probably, I don't know, it might snap. So maybe onto for something. a more tame day yeah. where extreme activities are not a girly on the agenda. Yeah. A dinner, a day. Mm. Yeah, because it's singles day, maybe that day. <laughs> um, but it's King just so said pretty. skin tone issues wish they come in silver. Anna Lisa, <gasps> they're watching the live. Maybe yeah. That's something we can try. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm like obsessed with dual tone jewelry. So maybe that's something that we can do in the future, but thank you for bringing that up. Um, noted. So those are the three earrings. I would just suggest getting at least two because they're just so they're fun so to beautiful, around Especially with. if you have stacks. So again, the Debbie is the studs, the Angela is the hoop, and the Darlene is the threader. Threader. Threader, threader. And just to give names to all the other ones too, the ring is the amber ring. And the necklace is the Claire necklace. And again, these are all names of our teammates because we thought we are a family. Yes. And they help us be grounded and remind us of our purpose. Yes. So this is just a interweaving. Kumbaya. Yeah. Kumbaya. Okay, so let's Harmony. move on to the very last piece that we have, which is the bracelet. Oh, this is honestly my favorite. So the bracelet is very similar to the necklace in that you have the star and then the bulbs. Yeah. 
like the beaded yeah. in between which i honestly think it's like such a beautiful beautiful subtle touch this attention to detail is seriously what we live for yeah. and if you guys can see mine um it's it literally turned colors because i wear it every single day like yeah I, I need to update mine already it's like can you put yours next to mine this um, is the one that we just got yeah to. so this is like faded i know you're not you're not supposed to shower with these right but like your girl kind of just cannot be bothered but yes this is i mean because my ears aren't pierced these three are my favorites because it's true what i can wear yes <laughs> yes yeah, so the little beads are actually really dainty from yeah. far away you might not even notice Aww, it oh someone says it's giving lv vibes oh you're right very nice so wow someone, didn't even think someone, about uh, that thought these are van cleef and some people thought these are lv we're very flattered yes very flattered and we're grateful for the team at anna luisa for bringing our, all our vision to life. life. Yes. yes, and like dealing with our random ideas and actually making mm -hmm. them a thing. Yeah. So you can see from far away, it just like is a twinkle on the wrist. You know, nothing that's annoying. Part of me hates like bracelets that just get in the way. You know what I mean? Um, so this one is just very wearable again, and you can layer it on with a bunch of your other bracelets i have our little flower one here so you can definitely like wear them, them together because actually the intervals of the flowers are much closer than the stars so it really complements yes. each other um and they're not fighting for attention so we have a couple questions here milty asks how should we maintain them this is a great question because i just talked about how i don't I just I shower with these it's recommended that you don't shower with any of your pieces ideally you take them off and I think like I believe Anna Luisa they do have jewelry cleaner or what I would do is maybe get like a <clears throat> like a what is the cloth like a microfiber? That, microfiber cloth and like just gently wipe them with like maybe yeah don't even do it with water just like wipe them after wearing them um, but I think the most important thing is like if you like sweat or if you shower with it or if you put on lotion and put this sweat. on like it is what kind of like gets it to turn to change Over color time. so just that i think that's the most important thing oh one thing also to mention <coughs> um the metals so it's gold plated mm -hmm. or gold yeah gold plated but the thread is actually on silver mm, sterling silver sterling silver well the ears yeah. And then so it's very good for people with very sensitive skin. It's hypoallergenic. Um, and yeah, and it will work with your skin type. <laughs> yeah. And all of our, our whole team has a different variety of skin types and tones and conditions. Yeah. And especially those, like some people have very sensitive skin as well. None of us have had any problems with any of the pieces from Anna Luisa. Camille said, it's the amber ring for me. No. Same, same. And then Zarin said, oh my god, it's my first time watching guys live! Welcome! Yeah, Welcome we, we welcome. didn't do a good job this time of like saying, and for those of you joining now, yeah. because we just didn't have time. Um, but yeah, this is like more to answer your questions if you want to see anything up close. And it's just us telling a little story. And yes, we're the, it's Recycle Sterling Silver. Yeah. Yes, so it's Very great cool. for sensitive skin girlies yeah so anyone who's like very conscious of environmental impact and all that stuff Anna Luisa has all of those points has that covered and kinds Al says hello I love you videos your videos we love you guys too do you guys have any questions do you guys have any questions about this collection about anything about life how are you guys doing? Let us know in the comment section yes. how your day is going, how your week was, what you're looking for this, looking wow, forward to this weekend, um, anything. So I also want to mention that mm -hmm. when you get it, it comes in these cute little canvas pouches that you can reuse if you want. This is, I forgot what this one came in, maybe the necklace or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then the earrings and this smaller little pouch and then this one for another earring. And they're like these magnetic clasps. How hard is it to cl clasp the bracelet on your own? I actually think it's it's doable. It's actually not that bad. If my nails mm -hmm. are not like this, because right now that they're long, it's like a bit hard to like, you know, when your nails are long, you can't really do many things. Yeah. But I think it's not that bad. 
So with the necklace, I like break into sweats <laughs> normally trying to get it on myself and then to a point where I actually get enraged. But now, after you do it uh, enough times, just, you just do it. And or, it's like, or I'll bring it to the front. Like if it's, you know, if I need to put it on and I'm having a hard time, I'll just put it like, I'll just go like this and I'll look in the mirror and yeah. I'll put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, um, yeah, the clasp will like stable, very, very nice. Oh, and there's three different links. So, <coughs> sorry, depending on your wrist size, you can adjust it with the Same three thing different with the levels. necklace too. And Dixie Wynn asks, is this collection limited edition at all? That depends on if you guys like the collection or not. If you guys like the collection and, you know, get, get enough. I don't know what I'm saying. I get yeah. enough pieces that maybe can stay for a long time. Like our Rowena bracelet, like the flower one that Paul is wearing on her neck and her bracelet. So, are uh, these limited or not? It's up to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's international shipping, right? There's, yeah, there is international shipping. International shipping. Are they hypoallergenic? Yes. I love it. Jennifer says she really loves. And Elisa and really wishes there are smaller ring sizes available. I feel you. So actually, Ro has really I small hands and fingers. Hands, yeah. And what's your size? I think this one is a five. Is that the smallest one? I think so. Like my actual, if I like my actual ring size is like a three. And you so can you see have how to wear it on this. Is. Yeah. So that's why it's like I have to wear it on like my fattest fingers. Mm. Okay, okay, also, mm -hmm. we are momentarily, like, we're going to keep talking about the questions that you have, but we'll also do a question and answer in just a bit, so you can start leaving any questions you have about anything else, life, skincare, jewelry pieces, anything like that. Okay, and then Sherilyn asks, I'm curious who inspired the collection. Was it Ro or Fell? How do you girls decide on the design? Oh, we always just start off with like one particular idea and it just kind of like grows from there. And I'll go on Pinterest and just like pin a bunch of Move stuff. Forward. Yeah. And then we'll send that into the team and then we'll just go through these like kind of brainstorming sessions. So it really is collective, but the message definitely does come from us. Yeah. Otherwise it wouldn't be our collection, you know, but their team definitely helps to like tie it all together because some of our ideas are too much. I remember <laughs> when we were talking about the ring, we were exploring ideas of like, oh, what if it was more of that solid rectangular band? And what if it was cut out? Mm -hmm. um, it was cut out and what if it had stars in between? Um, and then the team was like, nah, that might be a little hard because you know, people's fingers, it could look weird if the skin presses through the cutout, remember oh, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're really there to like help guide us, which is why it's a really interesting and really like, I don't know, inspiring process through it all. And then we were initially going to have this released um, like earlier on Somewhere. in the year, but yeah, because like things get in the way and like our schedule and all that stuff, like it keeps getting pushed. Um, but we're so glad that it actually fell on mm. November because I think it's just perfect, especially if you're going to start shopping for the Christmas. Um, there's a sale on right now that you can get the pieces at discount, which is just insane. Um, and then there's also like Valentine's Day. Um, and whether you believe months. in numerology or astrology or anything like that or not, 11, 11, at, at least for me growing up, it was just like 11, 11, make a wish, right? I think like in the more... Um, astrological realm it's like angel numbers right so whatever no matter what you believe in I just think it's such like a beautiful timing with the message that we currently have yeah. the fact that it's so celestial the fact that it's stars and you wish upon a star so everything just kind of tied together so beautifully and to really answer your question share share Lynn about like what where the inspiration came from or like who came up with it I will actually say Fell's really good at the design aspects like um, what we were thinking of with our with this specific collection was we wanted to take something that like we wanted to still kind of be in the same family as what we've created already yeah. so that you guys can wear the pieces together and that when you if you do have the first OG collection the fell necklace the row bracelet you know we want you guys to still be able to like stack them together and so the first collection is a flower and we're like okay this flower has five petals what if we do something with like four petals instead? Hmm. And so at first, like the idea first started as like 
another flower. But what, what if instead of a flower, it's a star? Yeah. And then Fell's like amazing at mood boarding, and I think I'm more like the I don't know. I took art history Detail. for like three three years in high school and college, so you know you just make you just you ad- adhere meaning to things. So I'm yeah. good at the the putting like taking all the things and putting it together. I think Fell's really good at just like starting and like the vision for how it looks. I just have like random Compliments, ideas. Compliments, guys. This is why you know you we merge. And we are one. Stuff. <laughs> and like going back to 11 11, it's like funny. It's Sorry. truly coincidental. We didn't have like a target date at the beginning. Like, as we said, it was supposed to come out earlier in the year, but like we just got busy with stuff and like, I don't know, it, it got delayed and all this. So, 11 11! But this is like the beauty of like going with the flow. Coincidence. Yeah. Because I think for so long, I'm such a planner, I'm such a low key anal person. That it's like it needs to be everything needs to be done by this day and da, 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 things get delayed. It's like the biggest stressor in the world. But I think like a part of growing up and trusting yourself and trusting the universe is that things will happen when they're supposed to, at the right and the perfect time. So when the Anna Luisa teams, how about we launch it? Um, the ish, initial launch date was actually supposed to be on the 18th mm. of November, but I think like I forgot whether we brought it up or they brought it up. Like oh, what about 11-11? And we're like, way shocking, way. <laughs> and then like a week before, we're like, what time should the pieces actually go live? And we're going back and forth for a while. And I was like, do you care? I was like, I don't really mind. The team also doesn't really mind. So I was like, okay, well. And I thought about it. I was like, wait, why don't we do it at eleven eleven on eleven eleven? <laughs> yeah. So that that's basically the whole yeah. story. Um, you can keep them entertained. I'll read out questions. Oh, okay. Are there questions? <laughs> I'm a jester. <laughs> Hello. Now, now I have pressure. Um. Okay. Do do do. Just wondering, why do you not have your ears pierced, Arlena? See, yes. That's a good question. Asses. So it's actually very. Um, it's it's interesting. It's actually very interesting. So I grew up, of course, wanting my ears pierced, but my dad, like my mom, didn't really care. But my dad was like, wait until you're 18. And I actually went to the Chinatown of my, like, in, like, Southern California and got my cartilage pierced and, like, against my parents' wishes. And then my mom saw it once and was like, ah, I'll just, like, take it out. Because I was, like, sitting on her lap doing something on the computer. And she's like, what is that? I'm like, I don't know. So I, I ended up taking this one out. But the reason why my dad told me to wait until I was 18 was that generally whatever you wanted to do in your youth, by the time you get to 18, you probably don't really want it that badly. Regrets. Yeah. Um, I think, like, earrings is whatever. Like, it's not, like, a tattoo or whatever. It's not like that. But I think by the time I turned 18 and I had my father's well wishes, I was like, you know what? I've lived 18 years without it. This would be, like, an extra thing I would need to pay money for. until like, Oh, it is. What I, right? It's like, I would it's rather save my inflation. money. <laughs> yeah. So I just haven't really pierced it since. And I think... Now that I'm, I'm older, it's like, it's kind of nice to not, you know, to be like a diamond, is it a diamond? Your body is a temple? No, just to like, be different. <laughs> so that's anyway, the story that's, of that's the no story. ear piece. So piercing. yeah, it, this is like great parental advice, you know, whether, I mean, if you want to get your kids ears pierced when they're one, go do that. But if like, you want them to, t- to hold off, just like, give them a reason, like give them a an end date and give them a reason it's like that um it's like that social experiment that even the kylie March jenner Hello. and yeah yes? yeah where the they candy. Yeah. leave their kid and there's a bowl in front of them with like chocolates or m&ms or something and they're like mommy's gonna come back you don't eat it okay and then the camera's just like on them and it's yeah. really like self-control <laughs> like yeah. sometimes they'll just like, nom, 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 oh nom, yeah nom, it's nom. so cute so okay crystal says it's it, <clears throat> It's cute because you both got your soulmates and are now engaged and married. The stars brought you together. What's meant to be will be brought by universe and what's written in the stars. Ah! <laughs> Crystal eyes. Yes, yeah, so Crystal's been there like throughout and commenting on all our major life yeah. changes. And we do see all your comments, girl. Like, thank, thank you. you so much. Even if we don't get a chance to like physically reply. Um, like we do see your heart and your very, I don't know, thoughtful comments. Yeah. 
And Emily says, I started a new job and my coworker was wearing the flower ho hoodie. Ho <laughs> sorry. Flower huggies. Yeah. And I noticed instantly it was the start of a beautiful friendship. Been watching since 2019. Huge fan. Thank you. Aww, Aww, that's so cute. That really a is. little office friendship romance. Yeah, like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> it's like this <laughs> unspoken. <laughs> but you know how sometimes, like, I'll actually go out and I'll see someone wearing either my necklace, like our necklace or our bracelet, but then I just like I don't want to assume because I think Anna Luisa is huge on their own They're too. Really so a lot of people may just love the design and get yeah. it without who's like who's our widow who's felt. So sometimes I'm just like. And it's, it's nice. like a little thing in the heart, but yeah. like I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, how I wrote you. <laughs> you have great style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I actually uh, made that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, shout out to the bros getting their skincare routines in check. 2022 is our year. Rodrika said that. A. And then Sherilyn said, the chemistry between the both of you is really one of the reasons why I watch Beauty Thing. Oh, and guys, we have a, like, a podcast. A podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just released the episode, yes, no, on Wednesday, so check that one out. We have two episodes now. Yay! Okay. Well, I guess that kind of wraps it up. Yeah. If we, you guys have any final questions, shoot them through. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up very soon. We're very thankful. Honestly, like thank you guys for joining us on our journey, allowing us to create these fun collaborations and continuing to do fun things. Oh wait, like this. and then guys my shirt. There's stars on my shirt. Oh yeah. We were very intentional on Block Bells Days. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Yeah. No, do it. We were deciding you guys knew that we try to like match match every time and then was like, what the heck? That's perfect. perfect. <laughs> okay, someone did ask, best vitamin C serum for oily combination skin? Oily combination Oh, skin. I think this works well. Mm. Um, I, it is a bit um, it's like nourishing, though. It's like an emulsion. Yeah, this we're one's talking like about the Medicube ampoule. Okay, it's, like you can so just tell from the color of it. I can tell you which ones. Deb, do you remember any like more watery vitamin C serums? Because I can only remember more... I mean, wow. yeah, oily ones, which might watery. The be. Vichy one is no, <gasps> the, no, the, the Vichy one is a bit um, nourishing too. No, that one's great. It's like very lightweight and watery. The not the not the not the break the pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Vichy, yes, oh, yeah, that, that one's pretty, great. It's yeah. like fifteen percent. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, I completely forgot about that because I haven't used it for a while. But I would stay away from. Um, Although I love Peach and Lily, the Peach and, the Peach and Lily like transparency vitamin C is an oil-based one. So it really just depends on your skin, um, but the Vichy's great. I think does Vust or one of those like more affordable brands also have a vitamin C? Oh, CeraVe has one. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything. Maybe I'll like drop it. Ordinary. The Ordinary. Oh, the Ordinary has like an ascorbyl glucoside, right? Emily asks, in search of a new moisturizer with the dry, chilly temperatures here in Canada, any ideas to help a girl out? I've been loving, loving the Ule Henriksen peptide moisturizer. It's mm. so good. It's the one in the purple thing. I actually just emptied it. Um, or even like the Dude, Cure like, and Barrier Balm on oh yeah, with your shot. Um, so good. And so these good, are the so ones good. we've been using, and they're like... Um, what do you call it? They're like very Balmy. soothing, calming balms. This is from Dior, and this is from a brand called CLE, which is like innovative Korean brand. Yay! <clears throat> but yeah, check out the Pure M one. I think you'll really enjoy that one because it's it's balmy but lightweight, spreadable. The good old vitamin C. Oh, the good old yeah, the serum. That's a very l like light gel texture which is really nice and great for sensitive skin and then any ideas to <clears throat> whoa sorry any ideas to put on a christmas lip to christmas list or give to others Ooh, okay guys 
So, you know, every month we come out with our e-magazine. And if you didn't know that we had a monthly free e-magazine, um, you can sign up to our newsletter. We'll put it in all the description um, and update it after this. But for the December issue, we do a whole, like, 30-page spread all about Christmas gift guides. And that's coming up very soon. So you can start your Christmas um, shopping for yourself or others. And that's beauty, lifestyle, skincare, like literally everything that we've been loving for the year. Yeah, and I think for your personal Christmas wish list, I would go through, I would just write down a dream list of literally everything you want and then pick out the ones you want most slash are the most realistic. So I generally like getting and gifting more practical things. Mm -hmm. Like they can be beautiful and aesthetic and um, you know, make someone happy, but I like to, I like it if they were useful too. Mm. So like if I were to give like a really nice gift, what I would think of is like a nice wallet because it's mm. like something someone uses every day and they can think of you every time, right? So that's like a bit more bougie. Um, there's even like AirPods or just some sort of like headphones. Functional. Yeah, it's like super functional, something that I use every day, even like a keychain, like a very cute, meaningful keychain. Now there's like a bunch of ways to customize it. So yeah, I like to think of those types of gifts when I gift it to other people. You know, like for myself, it just changes. Really? I love giving like items that people wouldn't buy for themselves or like, and it has like a meaning that's special to your connection. So let's mm -hmm. say like you know something about them yeah. or it's more than just you know they like something, it's like something shared, whatever it is, and then tying that with a product that they might not necessarily get themselves. So it's like totally not fun. I was going to do, she's a really good gifter. But her you have to gifts, know the person. Yeah, her gifts are at the office right now, but she gave me these like, so for her birthday, I gifted her like a little canister like this filled with matches. And then in return to one step me, she gave me these like giant, they were literally this big. That's the so matchsticks, yeah. like you can light a thousand candles with them from just one one match yes, so they're aesthetic. so big but they're so cute because like all the tips of the matches are different colors um and they're just like these giant rods yeah no and it's like the meaning of it so you can get anything lights the way yeah and it was like with the i think that teapot really suited you oh, i love yeah. that teapot for you and then but guys this is like the beauty of like you can give meaning to something that could otherwise be like meh right because we could have just launched this kind of collection and be like guys it's it looks it's good. a flower or like oh it's a it's a star yeah. you should get it right but it's like when you give meaning to something it can really help strengthen your bond and you feel so seen as like a friend receiving that gift mm. of like wow you know me so well so much thought what went into thinking about getting this gift and i feel loved yeah the season of giving Thanks. so exciting Okay. I think, yeah. I think that's, that's about it, Cs. If you guys are still here, thank you for staying with us for our live. We're actually so, like, oh, Ooh. thank God it worked because, like, the previous the lives, lives never work. Like, something is just kind of off. Yeah. So, we figured it out. Thank goodness. And all in time for our launch. So, thank you again so much for being with us, letting us do what we do, share our experiences with you guys, and more to come. And we'll see you very soon. And thank you so much to the Anna Luisa team. If you guys want to check out any of the pieces, you can find them in the link right below. And they're currently doing like a 25% off sale across all their goods. So, dude, it just launched. Run on and to you that. can already get a yeah. discount. This is amazing. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>